version. It was found to be perfectly seaworthy and with its cargo fully intact except for a lifeboat which it appeared had been boarded in an orderly fashion. But why? We may never
result of his injuries at the age of 25. Las Vegas police never arrested anyone in connection with the murder. They also failed to follow up with Yaki Gaddafi, a member of Tupac's entourage who claimed he could identify the assailant. Unfortunately, Gaddafi was murdered only two months after the infamous shooting before he could be interviewed. To this day, no one has been claimed a suspect and no arrests have been made. Number 13. The Watcher House In June, 2014, Maria and Derek brought us, and their three young children were getting ready to move into their new home, 657 Boulevard in Westfield, New Jersey. They claimed the six-bedroom house was their dream home and located just a couple of blocks away from Maria's childhood home in one of the top 30th safest cities in the United States. Three days after closing the sale, before the Broadus family had even begun to move in, a letter arrived in their new mailbox. The letter was addressed to the new owner in big, clunky handwriting. The typed letter read as follows. Dearest new neighbor at 657 Boulevard, allow me welcome you to the neighborhood. How did you end up here? Did 657 Boulevard call to you with its force within? 657 Boulevard has been the subject of my family for decades now as it approaches its 110th of watching and waiting for its second coming. My grandfather watched the house in the 1920s and my father watched in the 1960s. It is now my time. Who am I? There are hundreds and hundreds of cars that drive by. 657 Boulevard each day. Maybe I am in one. Look at all the windows you can see from 657 Boulevard. Maybe I am in one. Look out any of the many windows in 657 Boulevard at all the people who stroll day. Maybe I am one. The letter also mentioned specifics about the Broadus family. You have children. I have seen them, the letter continued. So far, I think there are three that I have counted. Do you need to fill the house with the young blood I requested? for me. Was your old house too small for the growing family? Or was it greed to bring me your children? Once I know their names, I will call them and draw them to me. At the bottom of the letter, the author used a cursive font to sign. The Watcher after receiving the letter, the Broadus family reached out to the previous family who had sold them the house, John and Andrea Wood.
received a letter like that, except once a few days before they were getting ready to move out of the house. The Woods family also stated they had never felt watched in the two decades they had lived at the house, and in fact, rarely felt the need to lock their door at night. While they thought the note they received was odd, they threw the note away without much concern. Still, the two families went to the police with the letter, and an investigation was opened. The police warned the families not to tell anyone about the letters, including their neighbors who were now all suspects. Two weeks later, even though the Broadus family still hadn't moved in, they received a second letter with even more chilling specifics about the family, including the children's birth order and nicknames. The Watcher also asked, will the children sleep in the attic, or will you all sleep on the second floor? Who has the bedrooms facing the street? I will know as soon as you move in. It will help me to know who is in which bedroom. Thrown behind bars. The Circleville 
was no smell of burning flesh reported during or after the fire. The cause of the fire was deemed to be bad wiring, and the five missing children were issued was staying at a Charleston hotel, had seen the children's photos in a newspaper, and said she had seen four of the five a week after the fire. The children were accompanied by two women and two men, all of the Italian extraction, she said in a statement. I try.
suggested by a letter that the murderer himself was rumored to write, which stated that he would spare the lives of those who played jazz in their homes. The axeman was never identified, and the murders remain unsolved. Number 7.
infatuated with Walken during filming, and Wagner had flown to the movie set to make sure he wasn't making a fool of himself over this. The group left on the boat around 12 in the afternoon on November 27th. sleep. 
was missing from the scene. Sheila only escaped the murders by sleeping at a friend's cabin next door. Surprisingly, they found Sheila's two younger brothers, Greg and Rick, and their friend, Justin Smart, asleep in another bedroom inside cabin 28 and safe. Tina's remains would be found by an anonymous tip on the third anniversary of the murders. Her skull was found 50 miles away from Ketty in a different county. There were only two suspects that the police examined. Marty Smart Smart was married to Marilyn Smart and they were parents to Justin Smart. Marty was apparently an abusive husband. Since Sheila Sharp had just escaped an abusive relationship herself, there were reports that she was giving Marilyn some counseling. When Marty found out that Sheila was in in his marriage, he reportedly went ballistic. Soon after the murders, Marty left Getty for Reno, Nevada. Law enforcement felt that the murders took more than one person to conduct, which is why they took Bo Boobed into questioning as an accomplice. Bo Boobed was also so much more to the case. The investigation oddly stopped there. There was evidence that seemingly went unnoticed and people of interest that were not examined properly. The murderer of the Getty crime has not been identified and the case remains unsolved. Museum Heist. On March 18, 1990, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston fell victim to one of the greatest art thefts in history. Only 13 pieces of art were stolen, but the combined value of all those paintings was worth Sam protocol. Then, when the men 
See? 